as you can see, my morning starts off very eventful. Hey, come say hey to the camera. Come say hey. Hey. Wait. Come say hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. What's your name? Hey. Yeah, what's your name? What? You don't know your name? My name is Reba. <laughs> no, what's your real name? They can't hear you. Oh, you like dancing? My name is Reba. No, I said what's your real name? Kyle. Oh, right, don't don't say your whole name. Just say your first name. The camera can't hear you. Kyle and Brielle. Oh, okay, Kyle and Brielle. How old are you? How many fingers was that? Have you seen this video before? Yes, that's the fire alarm. You only pull that if it's a real fire. Uh, somebody, somebody put here. Oh, 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 did it at school. Yeah. Oh, this is the coffee creamer that I use, sugar free. <laughs> and it has two grams of carbs per serving. 15 calories. I do use more than one serving because a serving is one tablespoon. And the way I do this is I literally just pour until I think it's enough. And I did too much that time, but I'm not complaining. Um, and then I add um, some caramel or caramel sweet drops. Um, one thing about over. I'm left-handed guys, so trying to do is hold the camera with my left hand and squeeze my right, right hand. It's kind of hard. Um, the sweet drops are really good. However, I only like them in warm drinks. Um, putting this in a cold in an iced coffee, it tastes has a taste to it that I have not become accustomed to yet. But in warm coffee, it's really good. So just do that. Give it a little stir. And then my coffee is ready to drink for breakfast. Since I am staying in a hotel, breakfast is free. And um, so I've gone away from like just eating meat and fat. I do allow myself to have some carbs in a day. I have these two mini waffles and I'm only going to eat one. Only reason I have two is because I put too much batter in there in the cup when I was making it. So I'll probably eat one and although I'm eating the bread, I still use things like sugar free syrup. So I have that. And I'm gonna have a sausage patty and some cheese. And I would typically melt the sausage patty on, but today I'm not. I'm just gonna have the patty at the cheese. Actually I'm probably you know, so yes, um, I am eating a waffle with sugar-free syrup because I told you I'm not telling myself no. Like I'm still cutting back, watching how much I eat. But um, after surgery, all I'm gonna all like it's gonna be no to everything. So why tell myself no right now? And I'm what I found is whenever I have like it's not like I'm eating carbs every day. It's not like I'm eating a ton of carbs every day. I'm still mostly doing keto. However. Whenever I allow myself to have these cheat days, I end up losing more weight than on the stricter keto days. For instance, I had a cookie. <laughs> I had a cookie yesterday and I had one the day before that. And you know that I was in like this little, it wasn't, it was like a stall 
where I had eight more pounds to lose before my birthday and like those those pounds weren't going anywhere it was like I would go up then go back down go up and go down well um I had the picky a couple of days ago and then yesterday I went to the doctor I had lost two pounds and then I had one last night that on scale again today and I've lost two more pounds so I now have four more pounds that I need to lose and I have what the rest of today tomorrow and then Saturday is my birthday so I technically should probably be doing a liquid diet in order to get them off but I'm not going to um I'm seeing progress I'm happy with where I am if those pounds don't come off I'm not going to be completely defeated I've still lost 34 pounds so far so um I'm proud of where I am and I'm just going to continue pushing.